Hey guys, Ewan here, and I'm back after a year. And this video is gonna be the first video after a year, and we're gonna start with freakiest muscle bellies of all time in bodybuilding. If you guys have been following me on Old School Labs, you noticed how much I mentioned this guy, Michal Krizo Krizanek. I mentioned him tons. I was amazed, and I still am amazed by his muscle bellies. And he is the inspiration for me to make this video. I wanted to make this video for a long time, but finally got around to do it. And this guy, with his crazy muscle bellies. Just take a look at his, this physique. I mean, take a look at the, the length of the triceps and the biceps. And when he's doing these dips, I mean, he looks kind of like those uh, street workout guys. We have crazy aesthetics, only 10 times bigger. And it's crazy when, when these bodybuilders, top bodybuilders, when they grow so much, when they get to that level of an open bodybuilder, they kind of lose aesthetics, most of them, they lose the balance, they lose the, the flow. And no, that didn't happen with Mikal Krizo. How? Why? I'm guessing he wasn't using as much gear as some of the pros are using, and also, probably not all the compounds that can make your physique look less aesthetic. And I guess he's just a genetic freak, so he didn't really have to lift too heavy. He could have got away with lifting like this, I mean, the pump stuff, high reps, uh, low, medium intensity, so there is a low risk of injury, not a lot of waist involvement in these, in these movements, he's probably not doing a lot of heavy deadlifts, heavy squats and stuff like that, he's probably doing a lot of isolation, which is kind of the stuff that Frank Zane used to do a lot, and he created a classic physique, but this guy, with, with his crazy genetics and... With, uh, the, with his approach, that is probably much more hardcore than that of Frank Zane, was able to add muscle to certain areas, keep those small... I mean, of course, he cannot, you cannot grow joints, but with his small joints and with added muscle to certain areas, with keeping a small waist and small neck as well, and these kind of things... Uh, and his skin also looks really good, and he also has crazy genetics when it comes to muscle maturity and the look of the muscle, the hardness, the fullness, the muscle just looks alive. And that's why he has, in my opinion, one of the most impressive looking muscle bellies, one of the craziest genetics that I've seen for a, for a while. I'm not saying he has the best muscle bellies genetics ever, but right now, from all the competitive bodybuilders, I am the most impressed with this physique. I mean, this is just gym videos, of course, he's just himself training, but not everybody looks like this in the gym. No, I mean, we're gonna see what he looks like on stage, I'm sure it's gonna be super impressive. Maybe he won't really win the shows as much as some of the other pros with not as good genetics, not as good muscle bellies, but in this, in these videos, in these photos that he's posting, he looks absolutely magnificent. And we're gonna mention the other bodybuilders, the top bodybuilders, who actually did well in, in IB Pro League, because Michal Krizic is competing in Elite Pro, that's like European Pro Bodybuilding, which is not exactly Pro Bodybuilding, it's more of an amateur bodybuilding. The other guys we're gonna mention are the top pro bodybuilders from the Olympia who actually had the best looking muscle bellies, but I had to mention this guy because, I mean, lately I haven't been this impressed by, his, by, by somebody's physique as much as I was by his, especially by his genetics and the muscle bellies, the shape of the muscle. Look at this, I mean, look at how beautiful this is. If you are a fan of bodybuilding, you cannot be uh, not blown away with this kind of genetics. This is something you do not see every day, nothing similar to this. And it really reminds me of Kevin Levroni. Of course, Kevin is one of the top bodybuilders ever. He's one of the top 10 bodybuilders of all time. He almost won the Mr. Olympia, so it's not the same caliber of a bodybuilder. But when we talk about the genetics, the shape of the muscle, he kind of reminds me of him. And uh, here you can see some photos from his last show, but I didn't really want to show you this because I've been following Mikal Krizo for a while, for a few years, and I don't think he ever looked as good as he looks right now, prepping for the show, so next time we see him on stage, I'm sure it's gonna be a much improved package, so let's see what's gonna happen, but as for now, he has, in my opinion, one of the freakiest muscle bellies that I've ever seen. How about we make a top 5 list of the best bodybuilders with the best muscle bellies, with the best genetics when it comes to this stuff, and let's say Michal deserves 5th spot. He's a young guy, he's gonna make improvements over the years, he's gonna start looking way more impressive in the future, we haven't really seen him against the top pros under the same lighting, so based on what we can see, he definitely does have very very good, very freaky looking muscle bellies, but for now let's give him 5th spot, which is insane, 5th in the world. And now let's go with the 4th spot. 4th and 3rd spot, 
I'd go with some old timers because those guys had some really good muscle bellies. So, fourth spot, Serge Nubre. This guy competed back with the Arnold and the other guys during the 70s. So, of course, he didn't have the technology as the guys today have, so he didn't explore his full potential. But from what we can see right here, maybe if he grew even a little bit more, it wouldn't look as impressive as he, as he did. And he looked absolutely insane, ridiculous. I mean, take a look at the, these arms and the chest. He was known for training for hours during the day. He would train for like five hours every single day, never taking rest days. And uh, he managed to achieve an amazing physique, small waist, big arms, and this crazy looking chest. So he was definitely blessed with crazy genetics. It's just something you're born with. It's a gift and he has the gift. He has amazing muscle bellies. He was training hard. He probably wasn't using as much gear as the top pros are using today, of course. So he wasn't as big as them. But if it is kind of muscle bellies, he didn't really have to be that big to look super impressive. And he looked absolutely outstanding. It's a physique that you do not see very often. It was definitely something that when you look at it, you're just super amazed because this is something that is very, very rare. Alright, next bodybuilder that I'm personally very much impressed with, especially with his arms. Because I personally, I, I love to see good arms. I don't have good arms. And that's why I love it when I see very dominant arms, especially biceps. But this guy, I mean, look at the biceps and the triceps. Take a look at this. I mean, also look at the V-taper, the size of the legs and the calves and the small waist, the lats, the proportions of this guy. One of the craziest proportions ever. I think this guy is very much underrated or at least not spoken about enough, because this physique is one of the freakiest physiques, if you ask me, of all time, especially those arms and the proportions and just the shape of the muscle, like those muscle bellies are pretty much perfect. I mean, the, the arms, look, he has dominant arms, he has really dominant arms, but they fit well on his physique, they still look proportionate. The only thing that doesn't really fit on his physique is his head, basically, because he had a really small head, but it just makes his physique look that much more impressive. You know, everything else looks bigger because of that. But again, those arms, jeez, his arms were just absolutely insane. So in my opinion, Terry Pastel's genetics when it comes to muscle bellies are third most impressive in the history of bodybuilding. So, we get to the number 4, and this might cause a bit of a disagreement, because I made a poll a couple of days ago, and people voted who has the best, the freakiest muscle bellies, and most people said Phil Heath, and in my opinion, that's not really the case. So, I think Phil Heath's genetics, when it comes to muscle bellies, are second best in the world. It's very arguable, it's very close between him and the number one finisher, who I'm gonna show you after Phil Heath. But as far as Phil Heath, yeah, this guy was really freaking impressive. I mean, the thing is, yeah, he had great muscle bellies. It was insane. But what is more impressive is, the, is how alive his muscle is. Like, everywhere when you look at it, you can see all the fibers moving every time he, he, he moves an arm. I mean, he doesn't really have to uh, train, basically. He just needs to stand there, and you can see how alive that muscle is. It looks like it's always super flexed. Because he always has that fullness, the hardness, the vascularity, and all the details that the muscle fibers are showing up, are firing up all the time. I mean, look at this. Look at this, look at the chest here and the shoulders and also the biceps when he's pressing. Yeah, his arms especially were freaking insane. I mean, the biceps were long, low inserted, but peaky enough. And the triceps were super massive and also very low inserted. And they also were peaking on the side <laughs> and from the front you can see them. I mean, those are the freakiest arms ever. But what is the most impressive about his arms is, is probably brachialis, radio brachialis. The, the, the front part of the forearm, that was really something in, insane. And also, he wasn't very wide, you know, to the shoulders. He didn't really have wide back, so he worked on his delts. And his delts were also freaking insane. Everything, really. I mean, the chest, it wasn't the widest chest, but it was popping so much. The back, too, everything. This guy was just genetically so blessed, so gifted. And therefore, his nickname is Gift. I'm not taking anything away from his hard work, yeah, his nickname is The Gift, but he worked super, super hard on achieving his maximum potential, and he actually achieved it. But the potential was there. He was really blessed, I mean, look at the traps, it, feel like, it feels like they're gonna pop out of the screen. 
and the lower lats and the spinal erectors and the glutes, the hamstrings also, look at the hamstrings. This guy was so blessed and there is no comparison between him and Michael Crizo because Michael Crizo because yeah, I mean this is this is higher caliber. When it comes to muscle bellies, sure you can compare them, but when it comes to a quality of a bodybuilder, no, not really. In my opinion, Phil Heath is the second best bodybuilder of all time and the second most impressive muscle bellies of all time. The first, the best bodybuilder of all time is Ronnie Coleman, but I do not think that his muscle bellies are the best in the world. In my opinion, the freakiest muscle bellies of all time were those of Kevin Livroni, as you probably guessed. Again, I'm not saying that Kevin Leroni is the best bodybuilder of all time or anything like that. I'm just talking about the muscle bellies, especially the arms. Because this is, I mean, arms are the, sh the, 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 the number one show me muscle. And you, when you see a guy walking in a gym, you will notice his arms first. And you will notice Kevin Leroni's freaky looking arms. I don't think there were ever arms with such low insertions. Biceps and triceps. Nobody had more massive and uh, biceps and triceps that were taking more space on someone's physique, if you know what I'm saying. And it, it, this is just insane, this is just freaky, not just the arms. Now he's showing his back, but yeah, his back wasn't that good, he tore his pack as well. But uh, the shoulders and the arms especially, just, just freaking insane. And this is not his best shape ever, just take a look at his photo for example. Wow, wow, right? I mean, how does one get born with, <laughs> with genetics like this, with arms freaky like this? It's one in a how many billions? I mean, it's, it's one, it's just one. <laughs> Nobody beats him. Nobody has crazier muscle bellies, if you ask me. I do have to admit that it is very close between him and Phil Heath, but Phil Heath, I think it's more about the, the, the conditioning of his... Uh, of his muscle and also the depth of the striations and maturity and stuff like that. It's not so much the muscle bellies. So you can kind of try and separate those two things. And if you talk about the muscle bellies, the shape, just look at Kevin's arms. Uh, look at the length of the biceps, how much the triceps are popping, the shoulders, how big those shoulders are actually, and the chest. And just, just an amazing, outstanding physique. Great muscle bellies aren't necessarily gonna win you shows, but they will make you look super impressive in the gym. And this is the combination when somebody is a good potential for a, for a stage, for competitive bodybuilding, and has insane muscle bellies. And I think the best one in the world in bodybuilding ever is Kevin Levroni. And that makes a top 5. If you guys disagree, please tell me down below. If you disagree with the placements, how would you change it? Just tell me down below, let's discuss. But I will also have a couple of honorable mentions, because there are a lot of other guys who have really great muscle bellies that I didn't really mention, because they are, I don't think they are top 5. The very first name that popped to my mind is this guy that is doing this crucifix pose right here, and he's doing it really, really well. His name is Paul Dillette, Jurassic Paul. And he was Jurassic as hell. He was a huge guy, huge arms. I mean, huge everything except for back and also a horrible poser. And that's why he didn't do so well. But if he fixed that back, if the back was better and if he had better posing, he could have probably won the Mr. Olympia. Anyways, amazing muscle bellies, crazy muscle bellies, just, just crazy genetics, beautiful physique. Cedric McMillan. Potential, potential, huge potential. He was great bodybuilder. He could have won the Mr. Olympia if you ask me if he really tried hard. He had crazy muscle bellies. Take a look at the triceps. Jeez. Everything else, really. The quads, the back, the shoulders, the chest, uh, beautiful stomach, I mean, waistline, abs, everything. Everything, calves even. He was and still is a genetic marble who would have won the Mr. Olympia if he just, you know, dialed the conditioning in completely. But, if you talk about the muscle bellies, one of the freakiest ever. Lee Priest, probably the best arms in the history of bodybuilding. Look at the triceps right there, I mean, they are almost forming a circle, <laughs> right? The biceps and triceps. Just crazy arms. So, overall, he had a really good, really good muscle bellies. One of the most impressive muscle bellies of all time. No, I did not forget Arnold, especially the arms, and I would say specifically biceps. Triceps, not as impressive as, as biceps, 
and chest probably the best chest ever so yeah i wouldn't put him in top five because that's all he had really that was super freaking crazy impressive you know chest and biceps everything else was great but not as good as those two body parts so yeah when you talk about the muscle bellies of biceps and chest arnold is definitely one of the best how can i not mention the best bodybuilder of all time ronnie coleman he also had pretty good muscle bellies for sure Rolly Winkler? Absolutely, yes. And of course, Dorian Yates. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. He's my favorite bodybuilder, actually, of all time. This is 1997, after he had like 10 injuries. When he was younger, he was much, much better. But of course, I'm not mentioning him as uh, the best genetics when it comes to muscle bellies. I'm just making a joke and clarifying that he's not actually that bad when he has no injuries and when he's young. I wasn't planning on mentioning Jay Cutler, but I saw this photo of 2003 Iron Man, and this is one pose in which he looks like he has insane muscle bellies when he flexes the biceps, when he does a front double bicep. Look at the peak on those biceps, and just the overall mass of the biceps, especially. And also the wee taper, he looks great, I mean everything is just flowing so well, and he's so massive and conditioned and everything. But those biceps are definitely drawing my attention the most, and that's why I thought I should mention him as well. I also feel like Victor Martinez deserves to be mentioned in these names here. And finally, Sergio Oliva Sr. Those arms, man, I mean, overall, his, his muscle bellies, the length of that was just out of ordinary, out of ordinary. So, that's gonna be the last mention, the last honorable mention. If you guys have problems with the top 5, tell me down below, let's talk, let's argue, whatever. And if I forgot to mention somebody else who you think also had crazy or just good muscle bellies, who had really good genetics, tell me, tell me, please, down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video though, like it, and if you want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.